taking a look at your future track on this Sunday evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms we have out there will dissipate once the sun goes down. I think things will be pretty quiet overnight. They may make it as far north as some of our northern counties, but then overnight we're going to see clouds take back over. Will be a muggy start to the day for your Monday. And then in the afternoon, with the heating of the day, I can't rule out an isolated shower or thunderstorm, for the, but for the most part, things will be much drier than what they were on this Sunday as the moisture from Hannah tries to weaken a little bit more. Then we start off cloudy again Monday or Tuesday morning, then Tuesday during the day once again We'll watch for the potential for an isolated shower or a thunderstorm. We'll have muggy starts to the days, but hot finishes as temperatures get up into the middle 90s. If you combine that with the humidity, you're going to be feeling a lot warmer, close to 100 degrees in the afternoon. Then we'll start off in the mid to upper 70s Tuesday morning. Then Tuesday during the day, we'll watch a weak kind of cold front working towards central Texas. Shouldn't make it, but it will squeeze our temperatures up into the upper 90s for your Tuesday as well, with the potential for one or two of those isolated showers and thunderstorms. Here's your 10-day forecast. Monday, 93. Tuesday, 95. Same on Wednesday. But watch what happens for the end of the week as high pressure tries to build back in. We'll start to crank those temperatures back up towards the triple digits, and then things are a little bit more unsettled next week. But by and large, the sunny skies, the partly cloudy skies, and the heat going to be winning that forecast battle as temperatures get back up towards the triple digits. Let's look at your updated 10-day forecast. Thanks for staying tuned to First Alert 25. I'm meteorologist Josh Johns.